Jay Alex, Jay Alex, Jay Alex, Jay Alex, Jay Alex, Once again, and you know what I'm saying? We'll give a quick shout out, man. My man George Garcia, Miss Bunny. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to pass out no late passes. <laughs> Mary Alexander, what's going on, man? Make sure everybody go subscribe to Hidden, Tre Hidden Treasures. Make sure you subscribe to Ace Corner Talk. We got to build a family together. Miss Gibbons in the building, what's going on? And we finna get this show started. So, uh, as you can see, the topic. The topic of the day is the social media effect. And um, I was having a conversation with my boy Ace early, and we was just looking at the whole concepts of social media, you know what I'm saying, and how it took away from a lot of things we just had a conversation with our family members with, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we used to get canceled from our family members. We used to get canceled from our communities. But now if you look in 2018, social media is where people go to get approval. Social media is where people go to seek advice. On everything. And I'm not talking about advice from restaurants and stuff like that. People go to seek advice for a lot of different things. And then now this social media effect is replacing the family structure, is replacing the community structure. And now we looking at it is detrimental to us. That's going to be the conversation. So I'm going to shut my mic and I'm going to pass the mic to my main man, Ace Corner Talk. <laughs> nah, good to be good to be back, man. What's up, everybody? Peace, peace, peace. Much love to everyone in the chat room. My man George Garcia's, you know, Inquisitive Bunny. Like all all everybody. I just want to say peace. So um yeah, if we really get down to the the nature of the social structure and how from the latter years to now, how the structure of social media plays a major role 
in our life. Think about it. Think about the impact that social media platforms have in our life. Throughout the day, if you think about it like this, throughout the day, there is maybe one to five times you interact with social media platforms. So if we are having, if we're digesting that much of social media, what effect is it having on us? What effect is it having on our mental? What effect is it having on our, our psyche? I mean, you got to think about whatever we digesting, even, even though we might not even take it in, is still uh, being digested. So that's even more that we have to fight to, 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 you know, not allow it to corrupt us, not allow it to persuade us, to move us, to think different. Like, we are fighting twice as much not to uh, digest some of the negativity or some of the bad things that social media platforms and the things we see, you know, digest it and take it in. And change who we are. What you say? I mean, I agree. I I, I see it's, it's it's a problem because, for example, I'm gonna share a little bit. Um, God, I don't know if I should do this. All right, I'll do it anyway. So somebody is close to me. Uh, I could say a family member. Every single thing that goes on in his life you will find out about these incidents before you actually, uh, you'll find out about them on Facebook before you hear about them from that person. So like to me, when I sit here and say that, you know what, before I actually talk to my brothers, my sisters, my family, people that are close to me, it's like social media will become a breaking news outlet. And it, to me, what I'm saying is that this is a serious problem because if social media becomes our counselor, and then now I'm going to pull up some notes, and then this is something that we'll actually ask the people. You know what I'm saying? Is that when you actually go to social media for this counseling, you know what I'm saying, it is attention-driven. They're not necessarily probably seeking the counsel. It's attention-driven. they actually trying to... Uh, bring attention to either their self or the situation at hand. And then now, really, in my opinion, they don't come to Facebook to resolve these situations. It's mostly attention-driven. And now, when you get to that point, it's always seeking approval, but only from your side of the story. And it's not like these, most of these Facebook people, they don't really know, know you. Like your family members know you. Like people that's close to you know you. So now, right. this is where the real advice should be given. What's going on, John? So now, uh, I'll let you speak on that for a minute. Hold on one minute. I mean, it, it's, it's when you actually get to the nature of why social media is so powerful, when you, when you just look beyond the surface and say, okay, this is why social media is so effective is because at any given time you can tune in or tune out depending on what it is you're you're you're, you're watching or listening to or you know digesting all of that at any given time is at your is at your leisure you can just patch in you know some people might call it the matrix you know you can patch into the matrix at any given time it's accessible to you, if you have, uh, it, they made it just so easy. It's on the phone. It's on a cell phone. They made it easy. It's on computers, laptops. Um, you know, it, it's so easy for you to get a hold of any and everything, any and every opinion, any and every uh, uh, dialogue. You name it, it's there. But how much of, of that plays a role in the decision-making of the individuals in our societies, in our families, in our lives? How much of that influences people 
to do what they do? How much of that gives us the driving force to do the behaviors, the, 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 you know, the activities? How much of it is an influence? And, and I would jump out on the limb to say the mass majority of working class, moving, thinking, structured people tune into YouTube and is influenced some way or another. I mean, think about how when females, when they, um, when they'll see another female on YouTube, then they might try to model themselves after that female. Now, I'm not, I'm not picking on females, so don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is it's that powerful where you might see an idea or see something, pick that up, and then try to imitate, mimic, or whatever, what have you, and follow after that. Okay, I like the way her hair is. All of a sudden, next week, you got purple and green and yellow hair. All right, you know, fellas, you might see something and it caught your, your interest, you know, that the, it, I, I don't know, for fellas, it could be weightlifting or something, or it could be taking some type of herbal drink, or I don't know, I'm just saying, it, it's such a, a, a influence in the lives of our people, of, of us, you know, not say our people, but just people in general, it's such an influence, and, and if we're not careful, too much of it can actually, like I heard in the chat and seen in the chat, it can turn you down. It can, it can have you, you know, talking in, you know, fourth languages. I mean, what I would like to say, fourth languages. The kind of languages that, to, to, to normal functioning people, we wouldn't understand you. It would be some, it would be another language. Because YouTube creates its languages. You know, <laughs> if you... If you think about it, certain things that says, things that are done, it, 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 it's derived of the, its own language. Certain people, you can get on there and start saying something, and I might not understand you. It's because you picked it up from YouTube, or you, you picked it up from Facebook, or you picked it up from some of these social media sites, and now you're you're displaying that before people that might not have ventured into those sites and don't even understand you. Okay, so now what I did is that I opened up the call lines. So now the call lines are now open, people. So now, uh, me and Ace, a lot of, especially with this conversation, me and him like this, we, we totally agree about the social media effect. So now in this situation, you know what I'm saying, call in, and then uh, I'm going to test my phone lines because I haven't tested my phone lines in a minute. I might need to pay my phone bill. But call in, and now tell us what do you think are the true effects of this so-called or the true intentions or results of this so-called social media effects and then by doing that we can start analyzing and building and having these conversations and help me test out my phone lines people because I ain't using my phone lines in a minute while we wait on people to come in here though my man Ryan in the building internal blitz in the building you know what I'm saying Empress Lou my army buddy my army buddy raw thumb and it used to be raw thumb and fishing but he got it um, messed all up now, so I don't even know what to call him. The sinks in the building, CJ the Traveling Man. If you haven't subscribed to CJ the Traveling Man, go subscribe to CJ the Traveling Man. He do a lot of crazy videos. He do a lot of stuff. He travel. He talk about history. He do a lot of stuff on doing his travels. Y'all enjoy it, people. So now, when you're dealing with this, this so-called, and I got Facebook. Uh, Facebook is on the TV screen behind Ace's head. <laughs> but that's the biggest one, in my opinion. But now, in my opinion, the most harmful one is YouTube. The most harmful one is YouTube because it replaced counsel for different events. It replaced that normal counsel that we used to receive from each other. And now we take that counsel, we get it from YouTube. So now, I ain't going to even say, people on YouTube can say anything. And then they sources be sources from the Internet. So you know, like I know, I can put, uh, I can go on the internet right now, and I can put, you know what, Logic having, um, God damn it, Logic having did, Logic having, I can do anything, I mean, I'm just saying, I can put anything on 
the internet and it, it will become searchable. Now by it's becoming searchable, does that make it true? It don't make it true. So now that's the same thing when it goes to this social media council. Just because you got somebody that's willing to voice their opinion and say something, it does not make it true. It does not make it liable because they will always be coming from a point of view. If I mm. tell you that, hey, your boy Logic was got beat up by the cops. And then you say, oh, man, that's messed up. Logic got beat up by the cops. Power to the people. That's crazy. But I failed to tell you that Logic was speeding and Logic threw out a 40 ball out the window. See, now, it will always be one-sided, and that's why you don't seek approval from social media. Because if you seek approval from social media, they will just pad your back. And then they will almost try to make an imaginary friend to you when it's not true. Right. And that's the point we got to deal with. We got to deal with the information that Facebook, all these social media things are viruses. And by them being viruses, we the only people that can actually obtain the power to take it back. If I see my brother Ace on, on Facebook say, hey, and you know what, something, you know what, I'm going through a thing. And I pick up the phone and I call him, Ace, you all right? But see, if, I, if Ace get on Facebook and say, man, this is crazy. My wife cheated on me. You know what I'm saying? I, what the fuck? That shit that A should be seeking counsel from the people that's closest to him. Right, right. Why go to Facebook, people? Why go to YouTube? Why go to Twitter? Why go to these social media events unless you're trying to seek attention or unless you're trying to seek approval only from your side of the story? And then people seek attention from 10 minutes of fame. I like that. Check, check this out, Logic. On Facebook, it seems that people are more open on Facebook than any other social media I've seen. Now, you know, of course, you know, they, they, they might Instagram a little bit or whatever, whatever. But Facebook, it seems like it's, they'll, they'll put every single thing on Facebook. Mm -hmm. What they eat, when they go into bed, how they feel. All the emotions, it seems like Facebook is like the emotion... It, it attracts all the emotions from people. Now, all of the other, you know, sites and all of that, yeah, they it does what it do. But if you look at it, Facebook pulls out all of the emotions. That's where you get, you get your family beef in, you, you know, your baby mama drama. You get everything you can think about. It's emotional, and it's on there. You know, YouTube, a lot of people withdraw. And they'll give commentary. They'll they'll do different little things, but it's not as emotional as Facebook. Facebook, you get everything. Yep, it, 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 and you, you you hit on the head. And, and uh, to think about it like this, hold on, let me do one thing. All right, all right. I'm sorry. To look at it in a bigger, to look at it in a bigger aspect of it, what happened when you're dealing with, uh, especially Facebook, and that's why I put Facebook on there. Because, I mean, YouTube mostly is a, uh, people will talk about topics, people talk about ideas, but at the same time, they still play. But Facebook is the biggest thing only because Facebook allows people to do these quick, to the point videos and exposes stuff. And Mr. said it right. Like, you should have, a, you be, should be ashamed to say this. And I'm going to say, I'm going to use an example. I was looking at a video earlier today that was talking, and it was a, the typical uh, Facebook beef. And by it being his Facebook beef, what I saw is that the man was saying that, hey, you know what? I shouldn't have been with her anyway. Her pussy was big as hell. Excuse my language. <laughs> And then now she came back and said, you know what? I shouldn't have been with him. His dick was little. But what kind of shame do you have? Because regardless, if that was your preference to have a big dick dude or the dude preference was to have a more enclosed vagina, 
excuse my language, but <laughs> that makes you look bad because you decided to be with that person for so long. So why would you spill that out on social media knowing that they going to come back out and spill your deep, dark secrets on you? It makes mm -hmm. no sense. And we still have people doing it today. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's in the. It's like it's become a drug now. It's become a drug. It's like the addiction to it. You know, is uh, it, it's it's overwhelming and increasing in people's lives, man. The addiction to wanting to see that drama, wanting to see that uh, that 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 other person in despair, or or that other family member in despair, like that. It's such a drug, you know, and I can't and I'm not in the judgment seat. So believe me, this is not a critique or judging other people and what, how they handle their affairs. What you do is what you do. That's your business. I, I can't even say I can't even sit here in front and act like I'm not entertained from time to time by some of the things people do. I mean, that's just what it is. So so don't get it twisted. I'm not sitting here judging people who watch it. I'm not sitting here judging people who like to go to to Facebook and YouTube to get what they are looking for, whatever they are. But but what I do know and what I can speak for, you know, for myself is that you have to have a balance. I mean, the more if that's what you digest 24 seven, then clearly that lets me know there's something else there you know, in the mental, in your psyche. I I, I just want to put it out there like that. it got to be something else wrong if that's all you do is digest that 24-7. And there's nothing else that you rather do or rather be part of than just soaking that up. You understand? Because people who work, people who have active lives, they if they don't have time to be in social media platforms and social media sites or whatever, if they don't have that time, they'll find that balance. They'll go lift weights. They'll go to, you know, they'll go to the gym or they'll, you know, they might interact with family, might go play ball or tennis or whatever, but there is such a balance. But if this is what you do at a computer 24 seven in digesting all of these different sites, then there's clearly something in the psyche wrong. Got to be. I ain't no psychiatrist, so you know, and, and 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 I'm not no, I'm not trying to be no Doctor Umar Johnson giving no, you know, no uh, psycho <laughs> stuff. You feel me? But I'm just do something that it, if if I was the normal person thinking, uh, you know, I'm a normal person thinking about the the reality. If you're soaking this up twenty four seven, then your mind got to be screwed up. You feel me? Because as we know, it's it it's a lot of it's a lot of fictitious, fake, um, theatrics, um, you name it. I mean, all of that is in the melting pot. So, if you're digesting that, it seems like your reality is going to be far off. Come on, man, let's get real. It's 2018. Let's get real. Your 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 whole perception, your psychic is off. I don't care how you try to dress it up. You can put some bologna and ham and cheese on it. It is off. You feel me? Yep. It's what it is. Yep. I mean, I, I, I'm totally with you. Their reality is off. And in a deeper perspective and understanding, like, their reality becomes virtual. They receive virtual hey. advice. If I get on Facebook Live and display to the world, that not, I mean, and, and, and Mr. Mr. hit it on the head. It's like no shame. But it's deeper than not having no shame. When they get to the point where the advice that they receive becomes virtual, meaning that you don't know the person on the other end. You don't know their teachings. You don't know their experiences. You don't know what they've been through. And then you take this blindly, and most of the times, you block people that disagree with your approach. But the disagreement piece 
is the peace that you actually need. I like disagreement. I didn't come to seek approvement right. or approval. I didn't come to seek somebody to agree with me because by agreeing, I will never grow. And understanding that concept, social media allows them to voice one side of a story and to seek approval because approval is agreeance. And then that's what they do. They seek approval, they get their approval, and they're happy with that concept. That's why we're living in this world we're living in today. And that's why our reality is getting deeper and deeper and sicker and sicker as the days goes by. It hurts us. It hurts us. And I know you can see some of the stupidest shit on Facebook. Excuse my language, people. But you can see some of the, soup, the stupidest shit on Facebook, and it will become viral. Now, <laughs> I'm going to ask you this. It becomes viral is because we tolerate it. We tolerate it. So now because we tolerate that ignorance, then now we're a part of the problem. We're part of the problem. If you saying that young women should be respectful, they should do this and this and this and this and this, and then you go ahead and you hit the share button on the uh, the the female that got on the the uh, Waffle House goddamn counter and start twerking, then you part of the problem just like they are. You're part of you're part of what I call the social media effect. Not only is these people using this platform to seek counsel, but also they using these platforms to corrupt our reality. Because now, if you have a twerk challenge, or what's the challenge that went viral on Facebook? Ice, ice uh, bucket challenge. Uh, no, it was one sicker than that, though. Oh, the for the dick challenge. <laughs> now, if you share a for the dick challenge, guess what happens? You tolerated it. You can say, hey, I'm the bigger person. I ain't doing for the dick challenge. I ain't going to do that. But you shared it. So now, guess what going to happen to your babies? They're going to do a for the dick challenge. And now, guess what? Like life and reality. I mean, let me um, get myself together. Like life and, to re and reality, you adapt and you want to exceed. So now, a for the dick challenge in 2017, in 2020, it going to be for the train challenge. And you're going to start seeing young women seek attention on social media. And now they're going to get a train ran on them. And I'm telling you this because now we didn't see our reality from 1980 to 2018. And we see a drastic change. But we looked at what the point that this drastic change started happening is happening with social media. Because now I can be famous overnight for shaking my ass. And I ain't got no problem with no strippers and no dancers or nothing like that. But if you become famous overnight for shaking your ass and these so-called for the dick challenges, you'll go viral. On some sick shit, you will go viral. Now, the bar will constantly get pushed. And then when you look up and you start seeing for the train challenges... Don't come back to me saying, hey, look, you know what? Logic, you was right in 2020. Well, God damn it, I told you in 2018. That's what we got to start getting to. We got to start getting to the realization of what we're going through. And by us getting to that realization, we can start coming to some solutions. Let's all come to solutions. I should have passed the mic days. Go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm listening attentive, man. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. And, and then now it seems like the 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 more years are are, are the, the more we settle in through these years that are, that have been coming. All right, think about it like this: 2018, 2017, 15. Things are increasingly getting more diabolical. You know, it's getting more crazy. It seems like this person's trying to outdo this person 
on the stupid stuff they do. Mm-hmm. Like they're thinking of more hideous and crazier things to do just to get, you know, the re- the response or reactions out of people. Yes. So and when you think about it, why why do they put the crazy stuff they do on Facebook and YouTube? Why do they put it so they can get to see the response of how many people are watching or looking at the dumb things they do? They they want to go so they can have that instant fame. Yep. Inquisitive Bunny, what's good? That's it. They they they. I mean, and and we can go on for this for days. Days at a time. And the the deeper message that lies within this is that we are the biggest frauds. And when I say we, I'm speaking to myself too. And I can only start with myself. Facts. When I say we're the biggest frauds is because if we continue to tolerate this, people listen to me. If we continue to tolerate this, we would be the problems for the future. Being a problem for the future is that this will only get worse. By it's getting worse, we can understand this. That the future depends on us. No matter what you think about it, no matter what your feelings about logic, no matter what your feelings about ACE, the future will get worse as long as we keep tolerating this behavior. We can laugh and giggle it off all we want to. We can laugh and giggle it off and say, you know what, logic, the For the Dick Challenge ain't nothing. But guess what? If you look and reverb back to in the early 80s, when homosexuality was not a thing that we, we no man, ain't nobody gonna run around on live TV and say that they are homosexual. Nobody, no man in a right mind. That's what we was thinking in two thousand in the eighties. No man in a right mind will go on a social media platform and say they are transgender. No man, no woman. Nobody would do that. We couldn't fathom that. Nobody would know that, guess what? It would be cool in 2018 to sip lean and to be addicted to drugs. Nobody would fathom that idea. But now what you realize is social media gave you that injection. Social Mm -hmm. media gave and made you get the heart to seek approval for people we don't even know. Because... As far as we know it, the people that seek that you getting your approval from, they might not exist because they social media. They might be bots. You don't know these people. They'll tell you online, oh, it's okay to be a transgender. It's okay to sip this lead. So now what happens from the 80s to 2018, now it's became normal. And then... So- Go ahead. No, my, my fault, Logic. Why I was on my mind. Think about uh, <laughs> the Donald Trump <laughs> making the comments he made, right? <laughs> Think about now he, he got the Republicans, Democrats, everybody, you know what I mean, like ragging on him now. But why do you think, and, and this, is, this is not off topic, I'm going to tie it in, but yeah. So think about the comments Donald Trump made and him dissing the other the other countries, Africa and all this other stuff, and and you know, uh, saying what he said and calling them the names he called them or whatever. Think about why there's such an uproar when they already know how he is. But what would be the reason why it's such an uproar? It's because think about it now. He's taking and turning the White House into a YouTube or a Twitter. Mm. A Facebook platform now. Mm. Think about, think about. <laughs> come on, get with me. Can you see that? I'm with that? you. I'm with you. Go ahead. I'm with you. I come on. I'm coming with you. Finish. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> now he's turned. Now he's turning. Now he's turning what the the elite or the upper upper people think about these platforms as jokes. Now he's tying it in in their profession. 
How about that? Yes, exactly. What if, what if I put what if I put it in those terms where you can digest it in that way? Maybe I want to I want to get it clear for you now. Since he's been in the White House doing what he's doing, now there is no separation from YouTube to the White House. Now, if now you could just put it on the same level. Yep. Go yep. ahead, Logic. Take a piece of that. I yep. just want to throw it in there. Yep. He he didn't turn he didn't turn Twitter. He didn't turn Twitter into because when you look at it, when you look at the dynamics of the so-called presidency, right, or the president of the United States, and you know, normally don't hear me say that, and normally people know the reason why I don't talk about this. But what he didn't did is he didn't turn Twitter now into a reliable source. Because normally when you hear or you're supposed like, you know what I'm saying, we think about our reality. Most conscious people know that, guess what, media is full of shit anyway. We know that. But the thing about this, when it gets to the president of the United States, what well, you'll think that this should be a reliable source. When he turns social media into, and guess what, like I said before, why do people post this shit on these social media platforms? They attention driven and they seeking approval from one side of the story. And then now, if you use that with Go. the President Trump, he's a attention hog. And not only is he a attention hog, he's a seeking approval from one side of the story. And then that's where we at with now. I wish I had an explosion button. Boom. Damn, I, I, I ain't plug it up. I got I got the effects button or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I ain't plug it up. Do a big bomb in the game. Exactly. Exactly the way you put it. And I couldn't say it no better myself. So if you think about now, people are in the uproar because he's changing what was supposed to be the influence of the the you know, like the government their stature, their influence over the world, now he's turning it into the average, every single day Joe living type of situation. Think about that. He's putting this, he's putting the overall, the oval, the highest seat, let me put it like, I'm trying to get my thoughts, the highest seat in the land, he's putting that on the level of a YouTube, of a Twitter you see what I'm saying? He's associating it on the same level. So yep. now him dissing these other countries, they like, oh, okay. Oh, you 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 dissing us, and now you all over social media dissing us with 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 now people from other countries, other lands, other continents, they're all getting the same feed from the from from the President Trump or from, from Trump or whatever. So true. You know what I'm saying at one time. They're getting that same feed and reaction. Yep. When now it used to only be where they couldn't reach those parts other than through telephone means or something. Now all you do is just it's a headline on, on your on your computer screen now. As soon as you turn your phone on, you get notifications. Trump said XYZ. Yeah. The uproar between this, that, and the third. Like now it's so public, it's an outcry. Yep, and think about this. Now, he's not exempt. Uh, and think about the concept. Before he posts these tweets, he should seek counsel from within. Ace brought up a good point. He spread it to the world. Not only, and see, because he's the president of the United States, he's supposed to represent the corporation that's the United States of America. Facts. And, and I'm going to say it again. Because he's the president of the United States, he's supposed to seek counsel from the United States. But when he hit that sin button on Twitter, he blessed it out to the world. And guess what happened? The same effects happen. You seeking approval for people outside of your community, outside of your immediate family. 
And it's the same effect. He's not exempt because when you're dealing with something that's logical, that's based on concepts and applications, it will apply to whoever. This whole social media effect thing, it applies to him too. But we can yep. look at it and see it applies to him. But this is the sick part about it. He might be part of the agenda. And you know, when dealing with any type of education or knowledge system, you got to obtain a level of wisdom because by obtaining that level of wisdom, you understand the principles or agenda behind it. If you don't know what I mean, go back and look at my education versus knowledge. Education versus knowledge video and then come back and you'll say, okay, now that makes sense. I don't want to get into all that now. But Dealing with this and dealing with this reality of it, we got to understand people that we're in a hole. We're in a hole because our babies will grow up thinking this sick shit is normal. Our babies will grow up and saying, go on Facebook and say, I'm pregnant. I don't know what to do. They seeking attention and they seeking approval. And they're seeking some advice from social media. Niggas that don't exist. Well, I can plug in. I can be a fuck boy and go in there and say, God damn it. Do, do this. God damn mother. Go over to the toilet and stick a goddamn clothes hang up your ass. And sorry for my language. But that's what social media do. They are doing that now in 2017. When you start seeking counsel from social media. Our reality is fucked up. I don't want my little girl to have that option. She need to come to her mama and dad and say, look, I fucked up. I got pregnant. Now, let me see counsel. Because regardless, if you go to some fuckball on Facebook or fuckball on YouTube and seek counsel, they not going to be there to support you. They not going to be there to help you. That's why you should seek counsel for people that's around you that can support you and help you. And regardless of the decision that you choose to make, they will understand it. We're living in a time that's destructive. And we don't even know it. This serious, people. If you can't hear it in my voice, how serious this is, I don't know what to say. Man, I pass the mic. Ace. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to make a shout out real quick. What's what's going on, Frenchy Kush? And um, oh, was, Frenchy Kush in the building. Oh yeah, Frenchy Kush in the building. Oh Try shit, I ain't seen him in a minute. Go ahead, my bad. Mister Mister Peace, you no know, uh, Express Love Peace. Um, and uh, who else? Of course, we got Brown Chocolate Peace. Of course, George George Garcia's my main man. Peace. I'm gonna switch gears real quick. All right, we let, let's get let's go to. So, one thing that is very important not to leave out is that. Uh, what's up, Jay? One thing we gotta realize is this: we cannot take what is put out there back. From YouTube land, Twitter land, Facebook land, you can't you can't get none of that back. When you put that out in the atmosphere, none of that you can get back. What you say, what you do, how you respond, react, all of that is out there for any and everybody to have access to, do whatever they want to with. See, it's not so much that they're mad about the comments that is made. But it's about this. Anything that the United States try to do from this point to help other countries, they're going to say that you have somebody representing you guys that do not like us. So how can you aid or give help when you have the person in the overall office about us like this, in this manner? See, that's what the big issue is. You got to realize when we, we're the ones that usually go aid other continents, other countries, other other people. We're, we always have been the forefront when it comes to giving help and aid. But if you have the overall leader in 
the seat making, making critical judgments and downing other countries that we're supposed to help, then how can they receive the help in any good in any good manner? Think about it. How can they receive help? How can they in, in any good conscience say, hey, we know you are for us, but your over your, your oval chief hates us? See, it's a it's a mix. It, it's a it's a mixed message that's being sent. On one hand, we're going to help you whenever we can, or if there's disasters. But on the other hand, we're trying to build the wall to lock you out. We we hate your color skin, you know, the skin of your color. Y'all bring diseases. Like there's so many mixed messages that are being thrown out there. Mm. So whatever's put out there on YouTube land, it can't be taken back. Yeah, you can tell somebody to take it down, but then what about the other 50 people that already downloaded it? What about the other 100 people that already seen it? That's why they're mad. Because he put something out there now that any given time they try to try to make a valid point about how much of humanitarians we are and how good we are with helping, they're going to constantly play that back about what Trump said. Exactly. Well, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but, no, you're right. But see, I, I, in my opinion, with him, I think he's part of the problem, design, and not part of the solution. He wants, he wants people to seek counsel and approval from social media, because you got to realize this: when you realize the family concept, you realize the concept of community. It's supposed to be tight knit. It's supposed to be, you know, what I'm saying somewhere that you can seek counsel and seek advice. It plays in his agenda or the agenda elite of the elites to make people seek advice from a, an imaginary source. We know that half of these YouTubers ain't real. We know that shit. We know that half of these YouTubers is not real. And guess what? Tell them Logic said it. <laughs> Tell them Logic said it. We know half of these YouTubers, half of these YouTubers is about money. We know that because guess what? If you have to pay for a YouTube channel, just say if YouTube say, hey, look, you know what? If you want to put out a message or you want to go live and do a show, you got to pay $200 a month for a, a, a broadcasting subscription. Guess what going to happen? All these motherfuckers going to shut down because they say they got a voice. They say their voice need to be heard. They say they truly passionate about this. But do they money talk with their walk? They'll fall back. They do the shit because it's fucking free. Charge them for it and all these YouTubers will die. Yeah. I promise you. Charge them. That's why it's so easy. That's why it's free. That's why all this shit is free. You can go and you can be a part of the problem for free. Yep. Something that we learned in life, nothing in life is free. So now, if we give it something that's free, we got to question it. We got to question it. And we don't question it. Now, any Tom, Dick, and Harry can get on this motherfucker and start talking about some shit when it's all about money. It's all about money. And then now, I can talk for me and Ace on this situation because guess what? Me and Ace don't get shit on YouTube. Facts. We don't get shit. I might get some goddamn fucking, uh, some little super chat every now and then, but hell, I throw that shit right back at the people that support me. And then now Facts. I take the shit that they give me and I add on triple and double. And improve the product. That's what we do. If you want to go and you want to be realistic, go to Ace Channel, Ace Corner Talk, my bad, TM, trademark, and go look at his first video and look at Ace Evolve with his own dollar. Go to my first video and look at me evolve with my dollar. 
Now, all these other YouTubers don't. Why? Facts. Because their message is not genuine. Their message is not genuine. Their message has a what? A reason. And by having these reasons behind their messages, they plan into the social media game. They plan into the social media game. And then to me, I'm going to pause because I don't want this to mess up. To me, it's sickening. It's sickening. Because guess what? If I say I'm about what I'm about, my message should give back to the people. My Thanks. message should give back to the people. And now I understand the social media effect. So now the social media effect want me to look left towards Kanika Jenkins. I'm looking right. I could have did Kanika Jenkins. And I heard uh, somebody say this earlier about Kanika Jenkins in the chat that they woke him up. But Kanika Jenkins is the biggest fucking psyop on earth. It shows you the power of the social media effect. Because right now, in a whole Kanika Jenkins case, you know who keep ejecting this shit in a Kanika Jenkins case? The fucking YouTubers. Yep. The YouTubers injected. And if you don't like what I say, tell them Logic said that. I said that the YouTubers is injecting this shit in Kanika Jenkins and they scaring people. They scaring people. They fucking say, hey, the whole Kanika Jenkins case was a pimple and they come back and say, it's Ebola. So now everybody fucking scared because guess what? We know Ebola destroys and they doing that through what? The social media effect. All of them, they scaring you through the social media effect. Because guess what? All the evidence they get, they get from social media. They Google the shit. They Google it and they'll come back and tell you, have you experienced the shit? Because nobody ever talk about solutions in the whole Kanika Jiggs case. It's crazy. Nobody. I haven't heard one YouTuber talk about solutions with the Kanika Jiggs case. Yep, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's it's a it's a lot of, uh, you know. It, it's it's a lot of guessing. It's a lot of maybes. There's a lot of all of that's in in the mix of, of what, probably is or isn't or whatever. I mean, nobody really knows or have the true evidence about what took place or what happened or what have you, other than what the news and family members allegedly put out i mean come on i mean it's good entertainment okay somebody lost their life now i'm sympathetic about that but you know i'm not i'm not trying to make it like oh it's just another loss no nah, that was somebody's baby that was somebody's uh child somebody's uh sister you know uh sister so i am i'm sympathetic in the fact that a, a life was lost and and, that, and that's a tragedy that you know there's no other conclusion and no other results to the nature of how it happened other than a cover-up exactly it's a, it's a sad thing and believe me you know any and everybody would have to some degree was touched by it but now what do you do when it's over six months later <laughs> and, and, and new evidence keep getting introduced <laughs> I'm going to say this about the Kanika Jiggy shit and I'm going to die. I'm going to kill it. Because I want to do a show. I might do a show of the whole Kanika Jenkins conspiracy. And not talking about Kanika Jenkins as the person, but talking about the Kanika Jenkins in form of social media. Ask yourself this. Ask yourself in what murder case, supposedly, or whatever incident you have on social media that you see this. They release footage of the incident fully. They make all this shit public. Never. Whenever you get footage of an incident, it's by a bystander. Yep. Now, if the police is introducing all this stuff, it's some bullshit, people. And I'm yep. going to say that this. 
that let us know that the whole social media effect is affecting us, it's affecting our babies, and then it will hurt us in the future. I know people mad that I'm saying this right now about the Kanika Jenkins, but you know what? Truly, my condolence goes out to her and her family. But based upon what I know, we should be doing a Kanika Jenkins live stream every day. Because guess what? Kanika Jenkins been dead three months. The social media effect is keeping us alive. Because how many other Kanika Jenkins and Kenneth Jenkins has happened since that incident. Right. That you so focused on Kanika Jenkins that you don't talk about the applications and concepts of it so you can effectively make a change through yourself. You stay on the Kanika Jenkins case. You stay on it. You feed on it. And is it about money and views? You decide. Because I see now, as soon as I start talking about this Kanika Jenkins, my views start going down. <laughs> But it's okay, because really, when you come to this platform, you know you finna get the real, true, and raw. Excellent. And this is not shots at nobody. I'm telling you what you already know to be true. I'm just the first person that's saying this. That's why you never see me really talk about it. If you go through my videos, I made one Kanika Jenkins video, and I said, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like it ended on the little that we know. And I say we know because we're strategically given shit to go on. We don't know shit about that girl. We don't know shit about that case. And it, until we come to that realization, we should know more because we should be a community. We should know more because we should have protected that young lady. And when I say that young lady as in Kanika Jenkins, I'm saying that young lady as every woman and man. That's why I said Kenneth and Kanika Jenkins. Because I'm talking about every young man and every young woman. That should be our focus. I'm about to. Yeah, let's see if we can get somebody call. Let's let's see if we can get somebody to call in. So anybody that would love to call in, um, you know, so they can, uh, you know, be heard live um, and give your opinion. You know, some people might not, you know, be chatting or whatever. They might want to hear a voice. So the number to call in is 857-216-4321. And if as soon as you uh, call in, you will hit the pin, which is 99806. You, so, said, you said that real good, man. You sound like an operator, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Call in, people. The lines are open. Call in. The lines are open. Let's get some. We, yeah. we, we just speak in our peace. So now, in order to have a discussion, you know what I'm saying, we need conversation. And you know, right. a lot of you don't like to go live, long live, but I, I like this conversation because this conversation here, it goes, we started from all kind of, this is a deep conversation. You know what I'm saying? The lines are open. Somebody call and test the lines for me to make sure that uh, I did this right because I don't know I'm going to open these lines up too much. So somebody call in and let's get this party started. Right, right. This is your chance. I mean, come on. I know there's people out there that pop probably rebuttal what we say. You know, no, tro no trolls welcome. If you're going to call in, you know, be serious about, you know, what you uh, intend to speak about. You know, we, we, we don't really need the, the headache of a troll. But if you are, we probably will dismiss you as quickly as you called. So, um, you know, call in. It doesn't matter. If you disagree, if your opinion is slightly different from what ours are, that's cool. There's no judgment about what you believe in. You know, there's no judgment about your views. I just want to hear about it because the way, how do we know what the average is thinking out there unless we provoke thoughts, unless we provoke somebody to, to express what they're thinking about. You know, it's, it's healthy to talk about what you're, what you're feeling about a situation. So it's cool that you call in, you know, 
If you want to call in, the number's right there. Go ahead and call in. Give us some feedback. You know, if you if you if you're feeling what we're saying, if you you know slightly want to add something, call in. The number again is eight five seven two one six four three two one. And soon as you go in, you'll be prompted to enter the pen, which is nine nine eight zero six. And we appreciate everybody that participates, calls in, and gives us the feedback. You know, because it's not just us. You know, talking about it, but it's a—it's it, all of us being involved, and it's all of us speaking on this type of on this type of topic, so that the voices could be heard. Like this needs to be heard all over. What we're talking about now needs to be heard. Okay, yeah, this is a social media platform we're on currently, but what we're talking about—is it a—is it effective? Or is it something that's going to dumb you down and take the focus off of what is actually happening? See, that's what we're that's what we need to look at. Is what we are di- is, is what we're digesting. Okay, so the pen is not working, logic. So the we pe- got to fix that. The pen is not working. Hold up one minute. Let me try. Hold up. Yeah, they're putting it in the uh, chat that the pen is not working. So All let's right, get. Hold up. All right, let's see this. Let me do this. Well, yes, I. That's why we want you to call in so we can test, to make sure that we got it, we got it rocking and jumping or whatever. Let me see. Is that the, the pen nine nine eight zero six right? Correct. Nine nine eight zero six. That's it. Let me try to call in. Hold up. Let me see. All right, that is eight five seven two one six four two. All right, hold up. Let me hang up and let me start it again. Hold up. We'll do this. You're right, uh, Mr. Mister, Mister. You're right. You are definitely right. It, it, it's, it's good to unplug. <laughs> it's good to unplug every once in a while, man. I mean, because once you feed into something for too long, you know, you get immune to it. And, 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 and the effects... You won't see you won't see it, but it, it has an effect. But you're so immune to it that you don't see it. All right, let me see. Hold on, let me call in. So let's see. Uh, it is shit. Let me find a number. Eight five seven two one six forty three. Showtime. What's going on, Showtime four oh four? Peace to you. All right, it, it worked, people. All right. All right. So try it again. Maybe you uh, pressed the wrong button. That is likely to happen. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, worked. Yeah, it worked. Y'all be live Y'all on be that. Live on that. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Call All right. in, people. Call it worked. Call in, work. people. It worked. <laughs> Let me hang that shit up. All right. Yeah, it, 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 it's working, people. Go ahead and call. Oh, let me pause that, though. I don't want to hear all that that somebody call in. Yeah, the call in line worked though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it worked for Boost Mobile. <laughs> I'm playing. Yeah, call in people. It, 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 it works. It should be good. You know what I'm saying? Let's have this conversation. Let's discuss this. And then I want to put the challenge out to the women though. Because for some reason, YouTube is a male dominated platform. You know what I'm saying? Women call in and then voice your opinion on the social media effect. I don't know, man. You might be a little. I, you you sound like you was biased on that one. I don't know if it's a male dominant platform because you two do have a lot of women with with booming channels. Well, no, know. it, it do, but it's, it's ideally, especially. I mean, it's dealing with information. I ain't talking about the fuckery. A lot yeah, of I'm times, t- you know what I'm saying. I mean, the women, you know what I'm saying. Your voice need to be heard too, especially right. on this platform. I'm starting with you. That's all mm-hmm. I'm playing. <laughs> you go ahead. Ace trying to get into it. But go ahead. We can get yeah. into it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ace, I'm, uh, I'm about to go on Twitter right now and talk crap about you. <laughs> I'm trying to stop something. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm about to start talking trash about you on Twitter, bro. I'm trying to stop something. I'm, I'm about to get some Twitter fingers. Where my sister at, Miss Bunny? Miss Bunny, you still in the building? 
You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, I'm going to start calling out these goddamn females. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, well, Keisha, missing, call in. Are definitely missing somebody. Who are we missing? Uh, Your sweet place, I think she was in the building yeah. earlier. That's who, that's, where, that's who we missing, yep. Yeah, she was in here earlier. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. But um I know I know all I know y'all might be cooking and getting their cook on, you know, so I don't know. Usually it's about the time, maybe around six or seven is when people start getting in the kitchen cooking, so Oh, I see them eyes in out there. Go Miss Buddy. Miss Buddy, call in and talk to me. Call <laughs> in and talk to me. <laughs> she put the eyes up. <laughs> yeah. Call in and talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Right, oh. right. Oh, hello. Wait, wait. Yeah, call in and talk to me, Miss Bunny. You know what I'm saying? I ought to goddamn call. I ought to call my goddamn girl at least and tell her to call in to the show. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. Yeah, hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. I got a phone call. Well, I had a phone call. <laughs> so check this out. There's not, there's not, there's not any area uncovered when it comes to social media. All right. So think about the matrix, right? All right. It, it's when you plug in and get the information, right? That's presented out there. So if they got every base covered, think about sports. Think about the time sports come on, how, how much of us, and, and I raise my hand, how much of us are guilty of being sports fanatics, right? People don't see sports as being part of the matrix. But if I if I dare to dive into the Shark Tank, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's part of the matrix. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, and then if they don't get you with the sports, then they get you with the TV shows. How about that? Go to the TV show. So from what? So from the from the duration that sports is on, you'll get it there. That's part of the matrix. Then they'll go to TV shows. They'll have the season finale. Then they'll have the uh, the, the the opening finale or whatever the case is when it comes back on. So they'll get you with the TV shows. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, if it's not the TV shows, then then they might get you with, you know, the YouTube. Yep. So it's a it's an evolving circle. There's not one point or one aspect that you're not getting the matrix or getting part of that matrix imputed into your life. You see what I'm saying? Because okay, hold, hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. We got a caller. We got a caller. Okay, come on. How you doing, caller? What um, what's going on? Where you from? And, and you ain't got to tell me who you is, though. I see you unknown. I hope you ain't no troll. There you go. Hold on, one minute. I can't didn't get. Ah, oh, shit. The soundboard. Hold on, I got the soundboard. Caller, say something. Okay, they saying something. Look at that. See, I told y'all they ain't using this crap. It's up here. All right, we, we, uh, we trying. Nah, he said it. Uh. <coughs> uh, hold up, I just muted them. Let me unmute them. Why in the hell, dude? All right, hold up, hold up. Go ahead and talk when I get them on here, Ace. Right, so <clears throat> as I was saying, it, 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 they're, they're hitting us from all areas with it. You know, back in the day, it used to be. Hey, say something. Hello, huh? No, no, you good, Ace. Oh, see, back in the day, it used to be your, uh, Yo MTV Raps, MTV, BET. That that was like the small margin uh, of the beginning of the Matrix. Like, okay, we did have Showtime, HBO. That was the introduction of it. Y'all know y'all had Cinemax. Come on. So that was the beginning. And then they hit you with uh, MTV, Yo MTV Raps. You know, then it probably graduated 106 in part. And and then and then that was the introduction to the younger crowd, into the matrix to the younger crowd at that time. Then they metamorphosed to what it is now. 
you know, think about it, what it is now. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, uh, Instagram, all the rap city. That was back in the day. You see what I'm saying? That was part of that matrix setup. And all of us was involved in it. Yep. I'm with you. Hold up. We were all a part of that matrix. Not, not, there's not near person in the chat right now that in some way or other wasn't influenced by any one of those shows that I just named. If it wasn't Rap City, it was Joe Ever TV Raps. If it wasn't that, it was MTV. If it wasn't MTV, it was BET. I mean, come on. All of y'all could be witness to that. But it was a setup and it was part of the Matrix. No matter who your favorite rapper was on there, no matter who your favorite TV host was on, on, or no matter what, the basement. Come on, man. All of us know about it. They was plugging us in then. But in order to sustain, to keep up with the times, they had to revamp and refashion what they're doing. So now they have strategized and found out that, okay, since those since that era has gone and left, now we had to find another way. So now Facebook comes up. Bam. We got Facebook. Then you got YouTube booming. Then you got all of those other things are just an extension of keeping the attention of the matrix going. And if I'm lying, somebody get on there and just say, hey, brother Ace, you're lying. Okay, all right. I got to, um, hold on, let me do something. All right, for some reason, I don't know why that one ain't working, but I got a new call-in uh, number. So now the new call-in number is 404, uh, I can't say it like Ace, but 404-362. 778 and you don't got to put in the pen that goes directly to um us right now all right so y'all direct y'all live and direct y'all live and direct live in action boom <laughs> oh yeah this one should work good too yeah so. so so like i was saying you no longer we we no longer have the times have changed and in order to keep up with the newer generation in the new times, they had to switch the platform. You see what I'm saying? The baby boom, they, they had to switch from what it was to what it is now. True. I, if they put something like your MTV rap song or something like that, the newer generation, it, it would be foreign to them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It would be, it would be easy for us to plug in, but the newer generation that, there's more thing. There's things out there that is more captivating, and that is is it. It has, you know, the influence is greater. It's not going to hold their attention. We used to sit in the house and watch that stuff. I was on at a time, one show to the next. Hold on, one minute. Hold on. I ain't miss a digit. All right, there it go. Hold on. Here it go. Let's see. Let's try and see this work now. <laughs> Uh, hold <laughs> what you doing, man? Uh, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, what's happening, Cuz? Oh, what's up, bro? Can, hey, can you hear me, Ace? Nah, not at all. Hold up. Hey, go go ahead, bro. Talk. Hey, what's happening, man? All right, all right. Okay, so hold up. Ace, you should be able to hear. Nah, we don't hear nothing over here. All right, well, they hear him on live, though. What's good, bro? <laughs> Not not here, not here. Trying to call in, man. First time calling, first time. Oh, what's good? Who, who this is, man? Well, I mean, goddamn. Look, tell me where you're from, though. You know, I don't do this normal call in shit. Tell me where you're from. I, I feel you, fam. I'm from, the, I'm from the South, man. I'm from Atlanta. Mr. Mister, I watch cartoons, too. Hold on, hold on. Hey, the, the, the call, though, you jumping on the call. Hold on, wait, wait. I don't know why you can't hear my I'll figure that out later. Let me try this, Ace. Hello. I, yeah, I don't know. All right. I just tried calling this back to go, too, fam. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So what you think about this social media effect? You know, it's crazy, man. It has its good and it's bad, man. But I kind of feel like how y'all do, man. You get it, it's programmed and it kind of deflects the real, the real shit going on. Yeah, so, I mean, you say it's programmed and it, it, it deflects the real shit that's going on. That yeah, man, because like, like my old lady, man, like she be worried about all that celebrity news and shit. 
Oh, she be worried about the you say that again? Like the whole celebrity shit. Like we we was talking to I, well, I was talking to her about making some some real moves because we just bought some property and shit. And she over here just talking about you know these Hollywood couples and shit. And I'm just like, man, these motherfuckers regular people got more money than us. Let's let's talk about this bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's talk about some other shit, man. It ain't got nothing to do with us. I'm like, man, let's talk about this money. She worried about all the Kardashians and all that shit. I'm like, man, what's up with this money? Hold on, one, oh, hold on one minute, bro. Hey, Ace, can you hear him now? No, I can't hear him at all. God damn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can't, I can't, even fi- I can't fix that. I'll fix that next time. <laughs> well, man, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's wrong, wrong but hey, I, I, I just, just can't get your opinion on the shit, man. Okay, go ahead. And i just translate to Ace. Go ahead. Well, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in my mid-30s. I just bought, like, a couple of properties mainly investment properties and i'm trying to drag my old lady on but she you know she's a little bit younger than me and she worried about the bad but she worried about like all this celebrity news and like y'all said man i just think it it'd be all deflection and programming and shit and i'm just trying to get her to think outside the box what's up titan hold on hold on ac talking man (laughs) go go ahead bro (laughs) You can't hear him. No, I'm sorry. Man, it's all good. No, no. I'm trying to get to your question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all show, bro. No, no, no. You good. You good. You good. We try to. Get, uh, I'm trying to. Get, yeah, I'm trying to hear your question. So basically, I'm just trying to trying to see how y'all would approach it. Mm. I, I will approach the the. Uh, so Ace, what he trying to ask is, uh, <clears throat> he trying to ask that he got a. Uh, a female that pretty much what you said is she just she engulfed in all this social media fame, all this so called um pretty much uh for T V show. That's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Man. And, 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 and my opinion is that I go in and I state my opinion and I let like, hey, so Ace, what he's saying is he got a female that she engulfed in all this social media stuff, you know what I'm saying? She looked for glory through social media and all that. And he trying to figure out how to break her from that. So, uh, okay, go ahead. You go okay. first. Okay, no, no, no. I just wanted to say. Okay, so with that being said, what is the main thing that she's being influenced in when she's watching these TV shows? See that? It, okay, it's nothing wrong with watching TV shows, but if she's if it's persuading her to do a certain thing or to act a certain way, then that's when the issue becomes a problem. That's when you say, okay, now well, I want to address this issue because now you're acting like these people or, or, or your, or your, or your attitude is being, is, is changing when you watch these shows. So in order, if, if you want to try to wing a person off of a certain thing, introduce something different. And then the, mo- the 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 biggest thing is being honest, saying, "Well, you know what? I I believe that, you know, spending this amount of time digesting this, I feel like you're not putting the right amount of time into me, because it's like soon as that stuff comes into play, I'm 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 to the back burner, and that's not making you weak as a man, and that's not making you soft or any of the above or any other sort. But what it is is it's showing a level of compassion to 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 your person that you're dealing with, your mate, your female, you know, is showing that level of compassion that you may have. Now she respect that. She should respect that to the utmost that she's saying that that you're saying that, you know what, I want that attention rather than letting that T V get the attention. She should respect that. Now if she start beefing with you fighting, I'm sorry man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing throwing the pans at you and all that. I mean that's a different story then. But she should respect the fact that you want more attention. And those things could be attention grabbers. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, you can sit in front of the TV, and if and if it's a good enough show, you can be there for four hours going by and don't even realize that time is missing. Okay. Hey, you heard what A said, right? No, nah, I could barely hear him. You feel me? I was going to hear it on the playback. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and it, I, I did it from, from my, my opinion on this situation. Is that you have to introduce her a substitution? Can you hear me? Not good. Yeah, yeah, I hear you huh? perfect. Yeah, 
And, and see, my opinion, when in you, if you introduce her a substitution, what you got to realize, and this is one of the hardest things that, that goes on, is that uh, in our generations, the, the solution's been different. You see what I'm saying? So, like, it's like social media now. You know what I'm saying? We look up to social media. You know what I'm saying? From role models, for guidance, for advice, we look up to social media. So you have Man, to issue how, a substitution. How, quick question. How, how, how old are you, brother? <laughs> how old am I? Yeah. I'm 38. If you don't mind. If you don't. Okay, well, shit, man, you you around my age, man. Back in my day, man, we, we used to keep all of our shit off of the social media. You know what I'm saying? We move in silence. You feel me? Yeah, I'm with you. But see, you got to realize this, so I, though. She She's now. Go ahead. But, but her being engulfed in social media, now she looked to social media for approval. She looked to social media for, sure. for guidance. For sure. And so by her doing that, is 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 the concept of it is we have to see this is what we've been doing for 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 years, right? We say we see a problem. Yeah. And we let that problem just say, hey, look, you know what? It resolve itself, or we will use the current formula to resolve our problems. But see, now what we gotta start doing is see, we see it saying today that social media is a problem. So now by social media being a problem, we can't discuss it without issuing a solution. So now if you look at the definition of revolution is a substitution, a transformation, we have to be mm -hmm. the ones that issue that transformation. If we don't issue that transformation, then we just people talking. We got to do that. Right. That's why you, if you see me normally and then with, with Ace, you see Ace the same time. It's like I hate you two beef, right? So now, if I have right. a YouTuber that's in my channel, I'm not going to do the typical YouTuber behavior. I want to start a YouTube revolution. I want to say and say that, you know what, I build a video. I say support this brother, support this brother. And I'm going to say it again. If you haven't already subscribed to Ace Corner Talk, subscribe to Ace Corner Talk. If you haven't subscribed to CJ the Traveling Man, subscribe to CJ the Traveling Man. If you haven't subscribed to My Ju 72 subscribe to My Ju 72 Now, the problem with me, with that problem I just presented, that YouTube beef is a problem. See, now I just implemented a solution or a transformation or a substitution. So now with the whole social media effect, we got to implement that, that new thing. That I'm going to give you an example too, another example. Um, we was talking about earlier um, the For the Dick Challenge, right? You know I mean, I know you heard that shit, right? It went viral. And what me and Ace tried to do is we tried to do the For the Truth Challenge. So now we saw that this was going down a negative path. So now what we did is we tried to implement something positive as a substitution or a transformation for that. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. So what, what, what was the 42 Challenge, man? I wasn't familiar on that. I just Oh, the, uh, well, we did, the 40, we, we did the For the Truth Challenge, but the initial challenge was, what was it? Was it For the Dick Challenge, Ace? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, for the dick. Yeah, yeah for the dick challenge. Yeah. Crazy, you remember that shit went viral, right? The for the dick challenge. That shit was, that shit was stupid. Yeah. It, it was stupid. See, we understand that as country thinking people, aware people, but what we did is we went and we had gave a substitution. We put in a for the truth challenge. And you know oh, what happened? Sure. That's what's up. And we sent it to major YouTubers. You know what they did? They didn't even fuck with it, did they? They didn't fuck with it. And then now, guess nope. what? That's, that's time mark stamped by logic. All you YouTubers that's that's, that, 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 that normally I, I fuck with, I sent every last one of you that challenge by email. And I got my receipts. No YouTubers hey, touch that shit. That shit's crazy. Well, you, man, you know, everybody like drama, man. That you, that YouTube beef, man, that shit's just like that rap beef, man. Megan that Ellis, thanks for the subscribe, script. man. People, drama sells, man. So, you know how that go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it, though. And, and the same thing for, like, dealing with what, I mean, I ain't no relationship doctor. <laughs> I'm just saying. But the same same concept that goes into that, damn, I wish Ace can goddamn hit this shit, man. I'm sorry, Ace. I wish put, it on, put it on too, speakerphone hey, and I'm put it right up to the mic because I, 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 I want to hear. Man. Oh, say that again? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's a, uh, 
Uh, an, an internal thing. Let me see how I do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go. Let me see something. Wait. Can I give a shout out before I bounce too? Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and give a shout out, man. Yeah, man. I just want to give a shout out to the chat room, Travis Cloud, man. That's my nigga. Travis Cloud, your boy. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, no God damn, we need to call in. I was just like enough said, man. I got you. Yo, man. I right, got there. Appreciate it, Travis Cloud, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. It's my fault that I can't figure out how to do this shit, though, but I promise you, you know what man, I'm saying? Man, it's probably, it's probably my phone, man. I, I just got back from overseas, and I just had to get this shit reactivated, man. Man, shit fucking up, man. I, I appreciate y'all, though. Oh no, you good, man. I ain't got that. Hey, thanks for your call, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just that right now when we're doing it, I just have to um display the ace exactly what you're saying though. But when it comes down to it, bro, is is that it anything that's not working. And I'm gonna say this again. If you probably look at my videos earlier, I state this one fact. And the ace states some a lot of facts similar to this. If something don't work, you have to implement a substitution. If you had a toilet, sure. if you had a toilet next to your stove, right? And then your old lady said, man, I'm tired of smelling your shit while I'm cooking. Then guess what you'll do? You'll take yeah, that's it. and you'll redo that blueprint and you'll take that toilet away from your stove and you'll put some walls around it and you'll put a door on it. So guess what happened? You don't smell that shit For while sure. you're cooking. Same thing in that's life. Real. Same thing in life, bro. That's real. Same thing in life. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't want to talk man. over him. So is he talking right now? Yeah, he's talking right now. Yeah. All right. So, man, hey, hey, appreciate it for your call, man. You know what I'm saying? You from Atlanta, ain't it? Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm Atlanta too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm Atlanta too. Go Bulldog, go Falcons, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, thanks man, for your call, bro. Don't even get me started on that Bulldog. Hey, man. I, I, I'm hurt, man. I, I had to be in the hospital man, for a minute. I'm, I'm still sick, bro. I'm still sick <laughs> over that shit. <laughs> oh bro, you yeah, good? Hey, hey, keep doing your thing, bro. Yeah, thanks for calling in, bro. Oh wait, yo. uh, yeah. I want, I want go go ahead, Ace. I want I wanted to say this. Um, yeah, don't forget, man. Tell everybody to subscribe to uh, Logic and Ace versus the World because we're gonna start popping back off on on our other channel. So don't forget if you have not subscribed. Please subscribe to Logic and Ace versus the World. There's another channel that we have. And um, there's content on there, whatever the case is. Please subscribe to that channel. We will be going live from that channel from time to time. More likely, you know, we're trying to get back into the swing of things uh, for this New Year's. So remember, Logic and Ace versus the World. Mm. I'm live. I, I was about to say I'm logic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm logic. He ace. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, man. It's good, man. It up a little. Ace got... Corner. This is Logic, Food, Cola, and Shelter. So if you have not subscribed to Logic, Food, Clothing, and Shelter, go ahead. Food, Clothing, and Music and Shelter. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed to Ace Corner Talk, I'm Ace. Subscribe to Ace Corner Talk. And if you have not subscribed to Logic and Ace versus the World, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. All right? All right. But, uh, uh, hold on one minute. I'm, I'm going to see can I get the caller. So now, and Ty fixed this line. You know what I'm saying? I just, uh, I tell you they message they saying so I can get your opinion on it. I'm going to call back. If you 202, I'm calling you right now, people. Let's see. What's up, baby? Yeah, I can't hear it, mm -hmm. man. I, I don't can. know. Oh. I hear something ringing, but I can't hear it. I can't hear. It's up. Hold up. I figured out. I got to hook to the switchboard. See, goddamn 202 call. I don't even know what area code that is. Goddamn it. So, hold up. The call lines are open. Goddamn, Logic going to make a drink. Go ahead and call in, people. Call in, people. You know what I'm saying? And we want to hear a female. We want to hear a female voice. Hold on one minute. Go ahead, Ace. You got it. You got it, Ace. Hold up.
Oh, okay, cool. Okay, Frenchy Kush, all right, cool. But now that now that we have we're we're, it, we're here. We're we're here in the moment. Okay. There's TV shows that's directly appealing to married women. There's TV shows appealing to single women. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. Okay. You got Housewives of Atlanta. You know, you got uh, Love, what is it? Love and Hip Hop. Love and Ship Hop. Shit Hop. Love, <laughs> love and Basketball. Stuff. Hey, Basketball Wives. It's like, it's four or five different TV shows that's directly targeting our married women and definitely their shows targeting our single women. Now, it, it, now you can just think I'm fluffing, but there is some truth to what I'm saying. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm telling you, why do you get the response you do out of your mate, your spouses, when it comes time to watching these shows, if they're not appealing to them. Uh, uh, my show is on. You turn the TV you want to and get a boot upside the head or, or you know what I'm saying, or get, I'm not saying that happened to me, but, but you'll get, you'll get that, 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 that shoulder like, oh, wait a minute, you messing with my show. You feel me? It happened. Yep. But that, that's because it's appealing to that particular group of people yep and, and, and look at the concepts they sell and see my sister bunny said man i absolutely love them shows and, <laughs> <laughs> and see <laughs> and see we understand we understand that because if you if you run a you hold on wait if you want to if you want to be real i love sports and ace just laid out perfectly that, you know what I'm saying, these sports is probably bad for my mental. They bad for my mental. And they bad for my whole concepts of existing. You know what I'm saying? Beside the whole concept of uh, competition and stuff like that. But the, it's bad. And I love it. Miss Bunny love when she says she low. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. But it, it it goes into the same thing though. It's like a lot of times is they build us up to love confrontation and conflict. Because right. right now, if you look at no matter who your favorite YouTuber, they get a massive amount of views when they in conflict. Yep. But why we can't get them same amount of views? Why we talking about information that positive that we can experience ourselves or understand the experience. That's why it goes back to the whole topic that the whole social media effect is destroying us. Destroying us. I'm sorry, Miss Bunny. You know what I'm saying? I'm re see, I put on my glasses. <laughs> And I'm putting my glasses, so you know what I'm saying? I'm putting my glasses, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, I got it. I got my glasses on, and I still couldn't see it. Because, see, the computer over here, well, y'all can't see all that, but it's farther away from me, that screen, when I be typing and stuff like that. But, anyway, I'm sorry, Miss Bunny. Bunny, I ain't get to give you a late pass today because you came on time. But the whole concept of it is that we got to realize that the only way we can actually implement a change is to quit supporting stupidity. If we sit here and say that social media, the social media's effect is deeply rooted in us, and that's the problem we got to get, it's deeply rooted in us. All right, hold up. I got 202 back on the line. Hold up one minute. All right, so Ace, I'm going to tell you what they say, all right? All right. Hello? Hello. What's up, Carla? Goddamn, what's your name and where you're from, or what's your screen name and where you're from? It's Keisha. Miss Keisha, what's going on, Miss Keish Keish? Hey Logic. <laughs> hey Logic. Hey Live. You don't want to say hey Live. <laughs> hey Live. <laughs> so what you got? To, what you think about this whole um, this topic? What we think about today? Well, I, I'm gonna say this. 
I think that the social media platform is good for like staying in touch with people, your family that like are not in the immediate, you know, in the immediate area, out of town, family, friends, stuff like that. But like for the younger, for the younger generation, I don't think it's such a good thing because like the kids today, they don't go outside. You know what I'm saying? Like they mm-hmm. they're stuck in the house. All they know is Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Yep. Um, all of these other like you know, it's all these other little social media platforms. Like I don't even know like half of them. Every every couple of months yep. they're coming out with something new. You know what I mean? And I I don't agree with it because uh, they don't socialize anymore. Everybody has their face down in their phone. Yep. Hey Ace, can you hear the caller? Not at all. Okay, all right, all right. So, uh, so she pretty much just stated the, the the obvious fact that you know what I'm saying it's like social media platforms is good to keep in, in touch with people, but the new generation that's dealing with social media, it actually, and then stop me if I'm wrong, it actually detached them from their true environment. Is that what you meant, sis? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying. Um, did you hear that, Ace? Yeah, it 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 does, and but it get it gives them an out. See, this is how I, I see really it. It gives them an out. So when people tune in, it's sort of a if you if you if your intentions about what you feel about it is not clear, it gives them an out. So what it's saying is we're signifying or co-signing what you're doing. So it gives the average child, the average kid, the average teenager an out because if nobody's directly saying, hey, what you're doing is wrong, what you're saying is wrong, those who tune in, if they're not against it, then that must mean they're for it. So it gives them a reason to continue the behavior. Same thing with the TV shows. I'm not saying it. Loving hip hop and all those TV shows is shaping and molding the average female to act the way they act the average male to act the way they act. So it, it, it's showing that message to the next person out there that, oh, it's acceptable because they're on TV doing it because, you know, they're making money doing this. So it's acceptable. So the next time you get into fast food line and somebody says something, you wilding out like they do on TV. Exactly. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. I'm listening to him. Yep. But I see what you sis. I couldn't hear what you were saying, but for what logic? <laughs> I'm a good translator. You know what I'm saying? She's speaking in Korean. All right. No. <laughs> hey, Keisha, I got a question for you, though. Is 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 mm-hmm. understanding that, you know what I'm saying, just based on what Ace said, is that um, we look and see that the positive side of social media is that you can keep in contact, right? Mm-hmm. So now, on understanding that from, you know what I'm saying, you can still keep in contact with people, blase, blase. If you weigh the option based on what we see today, the cause and effect, you know what I'm saying, if you look at it, is it more beneficial or detrimental Wait, the phone, to the us? Phone is, the, phone, the phone is breaking up. All right. Is it more detrimental or beneficial to us to still engage in the social media? I would say detrimental. Uh, uh, I would say detrimental because it is no families were more families were more closer and uh, spent more time together and did more things together before the social media came to into play. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like families are more parents are more more prone to say oh, go watch a movie or go get your phone or go, you know what I'm saying? Parents aren't more uh, attentive to their kids anymore. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mo- most parents are like, go play games. I mean, parents don't want to spend time with their kids. Yeah. They want to pick up their damn phone. <laughs> Yeah, and, the kids and, are too. and you got to realize this is now it exists because it's a option. See, if when you didn't have that option, and I'm, I'm, right. I'm and I'm a, I'm a, I'm bringing this up, it's so many ways that you go and you say that 
if you have an option for stupidity and an option exists, then therefore it will be a solution. Right. See, this stupidity in social media is an option now and it's pushed, in my opinion, by the elite. So now because it's pushed, it exists as an option. And then you got to realize this. We got a lot of options out here that represent stupidity. And because mm -hmm. it exists, because it exists, poison ivy exists. But do you go out and tell people to eat it? <laughs> hey, That's right. I, no, uh, I'm saying it exists, but nobody goes out and eat it, right? Because we know the effects. We analyze the effects of poison ivy. So, so that goes into that same thing. Just because it exists does not mean it's beneficial. That's true. And it, it comes down to that on so many different aspects of life. Just because mm -hmm. you got a, a dude on YouTube talking shit doesn't mean you have to indulge yourself in it. Right. By you indulging yourself in it, then guess what? That called toleration. And when you tolerate him, it will motivate him to go and keep going. If, if people stop, if, 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 if people take a stand, if people take a stand and say, you know what, hashtag fuck your footage or hashtag <laughs> fuck the shit you're saying, then guess what we'll do? That YouTuber no yeah. longer will go on with that bullshit. He will either do right. one or two things. He will look to talk about positive things or, or a positive push or he will stop YouTubing all along. Same thing with social media. Right. If we stop sharing these twerk videos, guess what happened? They won't make twerk videos no more. You're right. You're right. And it's sad that, that people are drawn to the fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? No, you good. But you it's, good. It's, it's, this it's rated sad. PG. This rated PG on this channel. I mean, my bad. But, but for the people who don't like rated PG, I'm sorry. But this rated PG. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead, sis. Right. I'm, right. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it, 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 it's sad that that's what people The drama. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like... They don't want to. They don't want the truth. They don't want to hear the real. They they rather hear like the the BS and the fighting and the screaming and the you know the the fooling than what's really going on in the world and and what's real. Right. Exactly. Keep seeing all of the the craziness, you know. But it, you know, I mean, that's what the world is coming to, and it's sad. Hey, and you're right. And and uh, in the chat room, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an example though, because my sister um, questioned everything. She make garden videos, right? So uh, mm -hmm. most of our videos be garden videos, and you see that most of the time I got inspired from questioning everything to make garden videos. So mm -hmm. she inspired me. She made garden videos. I make garden videos. And it's not trendy. If, right. if you know what I'm saying, I can look at my garden videos now, and I'm finna do it. Let me see. Let me go to um, YouTube, and I'm finna make a point. I'm finna make a point. My garden videos represents life. My garden videos represents truth. Hold on. Let me go back and go to my channel. Hold up. I went to the wrong one. I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me go to my view channel. And and I'm people sorry. People want to know why it's not trending. People don't understand. People don't get it. Yeah, but see, that's people the people don't understand and don't and don't know. They don't accept it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and and that's sad. It's like it's, like it's different. So it's different. And people don't understand and don't accept the different. So I'm gonna show you an example. I got a garden video. My max views on my garden video is. 88 views, right? Mm -hmm. And then that is my top views on my garden video. But guess what I do? If I do a video by Sionetta, it'll shoot through the roof. It'll probably be off the, yeah. If I do a garden video. Because they know it's going to be some foolery. They know it's going to be some type of foolery or something they have to do with. Yep. And if I do a video about Donald Trump, it shoots through the roof. Now, that shows yeah. you. 
the power of the social media effect. Because yeah. now, people don't want to know about growing food. People want to know about the stupidity. The stupidity. Yeah. So, um, hey, sis, I'm going to have to let you go because my phone on 1% and they're about to die because I had to switch. I didn't know I was going to use my good. phone. It's all good. I just wanted to call in and, 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 you know, give my little opinion. God damn it, sis. Hey, thank you, Keish. Keish, you know, I always. No problem. You know, the first girl I was actually, uh, I really had a crush on, her name was Keisha. <laughs> you know, you know, we we like that. We fly. I know. It's crazy though. I guarantee you, if it's, <laughs> it's it, a it, 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 it's a I'm telling you, if it's men in this chat room, <laughs> they will agree that most of their first crushes would be by a girl named Keisha. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shut up, man. I'm going to shut up. All right, sis. Oh, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Say it to the people again. Goddamn, Keish, Keish. Oh, shit. She hung up. Goddamn, Keish, Keish. All right, I'm going to plug my phone back in before we goddamn take another caller. So, yeah, my damn phone would damn die. And then, you know what I'm saying, that shit ain't good. All right, it's charging up now, so I'm going to let it charge up a little bit, though. I like this, Ace. All the thing about it that I can't get you to hear the shit. <laughs> Can you hear me, Ace? Yeah, I can hear you. All uh, right, yeah. Yeah, I can't get you goddamn. I don't know what the fuck. Why that? This, this shit is hooked up to my switchboard. Uh, I'm thinking that you should be able to hear it just like I hear it. But, you know what I'm saying? That's something I got to work on. You know what I'm saying? That's goddamn. Uh, that's bring it up. But, yeah, you're right, Travis Cloud. It's a whole lot of Keisha's. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yep, LaKeisha, Shakeisha, Fakeisha, Takeisha, Takeisha Kamisha. All that, <laughs> we going to get off of that, though. But, yeah, back on the top. I shut up, Ace. Go ahead, bro. No, nah, you good. You good. But, I mean, it, 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 if we if we want to get down to the, the nitty-gritty, to the, to the core issue that, you know, we see egging the families, the indestruction of our families, that's where we have to target you know, our, our questioning is how is this social media game affecting the, the, the movement of families? How much of what we watch, how much of what we digest, is it, is it, how much of it is filtering into our family and is it having an impact on what we teach, how we school, Mentor, train, any of the above, is it is it having an impact on our kid? And then, is it having an impact on your personal relationship with the bed, the person who the bed you shared, your your mate, your your soul partner, your your loved one, your girl, your 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 side chick, mistress, or whatever you want to call it. I'll give it any title you want. How is it hindering that? Mm -hmm. Because don't think it ain't. Oh, it is. To some degree. My kids right now, if they watch a certain show, that's all they'll be talking about. <laughs> you see? That's all they'll be talking about. Dad. They was watching some show where I think the guy, that when the, where all the celebrities go in there and buy the sneakers and buy all these high price sneakers or something like that. But that was even an influence to them. Their eyes lighting up. Talking about Oh, he about to buy this three thousand dollar Jordan sneaker and all this different stuff. So, even that right there is just showing them some type of a message. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not on that level where where we can go out and buy three thousand dollar sneakers. But I guess if they ever had that that money to blow, then that would probably be something they'll be thinking about because of what they have seen on TV. I'm just opinion. So I might be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, kid issues. My goddamn daughter. Is you going over our house tonight? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kids problem. Ain't no problem. Kids ain't no problem. Kids is goddamn the solution. And I say kids is the solution because they're the solution because they only know and they only affected by what we teach them or train them. 
if we teach them and train and we expose that social media as an option, they take that option, they run with it. So that's why you see that I know I don't put my kids on here too often because I know that YouTube is the serious, 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 serious streets. So <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? YouTube is serious because they'll take that and they'll use that against you and yep. they'll go and they'll try to more or less expose your kids for that. So, I mean, the thing about this is I want to say this to CJ, though. You know what I'm saying? Brother, keep up your journey doing what you're doing regardless of people subscribe to you or not. And then now, I know this, I will support you. I support you. And I continue to push it. You know what I'm saying? You see that when I get on here, now, you know what I'm saying, my boy Ace, I say, hey, subscribe to my boy Ace Corner Talk because I vouch for his information. I said, subscribe to my boy CJ because I vouch for his information. My Jew, my dude, he dance, he do his thing. I vouch for that information. And by me vouching for that information, I know that it's, it's ideal. So now we're going to continue to do that. We're going to study to support you. You know what I'm saying? The new um, Hidden Treasures, you know what I'm saying? That's a sister. You know what I'm saying? And she's trying to get involved in the, the truth seeking movement. And then eventually, you know what I'm saying? We probably do a hangout with either me, her, and Ace tonight. And then be on the lookout. If you haven't subscribed to Ace Corner Talk, subscribe to Ace Corner Talk right now. If you haven't subscribed to Hidden Treasures, subscribe to Hidden Treasures now. Because probably uh, tonight, if Ace got time, you know what I'm saying, we might end up going live on this same platform uh, on the Hidden Treasures channel. Because the sister, she want to bring some facts, she want to understand the truth, go ahead and let's do that. You know what I'm saying? And then I know, understand, CJ got these trolls dealing with him. But, you know, forget the trolls because we got to establish our boundaries. We got to establish our foundation, our community. So now anybody that's outside our community is an outsider until we bring them in. So that's how we're going to start doing stuff now. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm a, uh, I guess we've been going almost two hours. And, you know, man, A's don't normally go two hours. <laughs> right, hold on. Hold on, Logic. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, all right. I'm about to hit the subscribe button, so I make you. I'm putting you right. I'm subscribing to you now, Hidden Treasure. So, all right. So I got you, and I'm hitting the bell. Bam. All right. Got you. I got you. Subscribe. Okay. I'm subscribed to you now. Now, who who was the yeah. other person? Uh, CJ CJ Trailer Man. I I get with you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna subscribe. I'm gonna subscribe to him for you. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. CJ Traveling Man. Go ahead, and get him in there. Yeah, CJ trying to bad it then is uh my Jew 72. So you know what I'm saying? What we trying to do is we just trying to establish a truth seeking community or a community of conversation. We establish this community of conversation. Is that you know what? You don't agree about agree with me, you don't gotta agree with A's, you don't gotta agree with hidden treasures, you don't gotta agree with CJ, but it's open lines of communication. Well, we're able to discuss it. That's all we want to do. Half of the stuff that I said, that probably A said today, you probably don't agree with it. But we we'll open up the lines of communication. Oh, somebody put that in now. God damn, Hidden Treasures put that in now. Thank you, sis. We open up the lines of communication, and now, therefore, we always just discuss ideas. So hopefully tonight, People, if you haven't subscribed to Hen Churches, subscribe to Hen Churches now. And then we probably, you know what I'm saying, if Ace don't mind, we'll probably go in and we'll do a live show with Hen Churches tonight just to show you that we support each other. We support each other. It's your boy Logic. If you haven't subscribed to Ace versus Logic, subscribe to Ace versus Logic. If you haven't subscribed to um, all these channels that's on the front of my page, People take one minute and subscribe to these channels because I guarantee you these channels will probably offer you more information than your average channel. So at that, I'm going to leave that. Man, Shoe Girl keeps saying, Ace, Ace, they say you killing that gum over there. <laughs> oh, shoe. Boy, Shoe Girl, Shoe Girl, get out of goddamn Ace mouth. <laughs> I like that. No, 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 no. That's good. 
Yeah, you right. I am tearing that gum up, boy. Mm. <laughs> it's that flavor trident. It's watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a nigga. <laughs> Oh, oh man. So oh man. Got that hey, do you want to follow the word, man, before we cut this stream off, man? I wanna say uh thanks to uh Keisha for subscribing. And um anybody who subscribed to me today, much love to you. I appreciate you. Um, you know how we do, man. We build, we have fun. You know, it, it we don't need to be uptight. You know what I mean? We don't need to act a fool where we don't have class with what we do. But let's keep it classy. But still, man, it's good to have fun, laugh. It's good to, in, in, you know, in react, man. That's what, that's what it should be about, you know. And I appreciate all the subscriptions. I appreciate all of those who who build with us, man, and who build on, on a premise of trying to get a solution to our everyday problems, which we all have. Yes. You know, none of us are perfect. I have issues every single day, just like the next man. But it, it, it does something to to us if when we come and we get to open up and shit about some of the things we are dealing with, you know. And I think that's healing in itself. Exactly. If we can come with the right medicine, the right solutions to talk about some of these things would we'll be all right. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead, get your subscribe on, hit the bells, hit the button, and when we go live, you get to get, you know, a full dose of what we're doing. But, you know, our schedules conflict sometimes, so we might not be on as much as y'all would love us to. But do know that when we do come on, that hunger and anticipation and waiting on us, you know, y'all appreciate when we get on. We give good builds, all right? Yep. So much love to you guys, man. Much love to everyone. Yep. Hey, subscribe to this channel. Now, I'm a, I'm a, um, let me see, let me get my thoughts right. This is my vision. I want this picture or this image that you look at at right now to be A's logic hidden treasures she's a traveling man Maju 72 Maju 7 yes Maju 72 versus the world now I know that you know I'm a flat earth and I don't believe in a goddamn globe but the world this is the image that everybody understand so in my mind I want to fill this name up because that if I fill this globe up with name it represents unity. It represents understanding. And it represents respect. As we get to that point, we will become powerful. We'll become powerful. And now as we get up on this globe, we will support each other. We will respect each other. Ideas. We will do all that different stuff. And then we, at the end of the day, will become one. Until we become one, people. We will be just existing and we plan into the hands of the elite and then we will be ideally fools. We're going to go live on Hidden Treasures tonight. Y'all make sure y'all be there. It's going to be um, Ace and Logic over there with Hidden Treasures and we're going to crank this out. Before we end this show, we're going to play, like I said, the song that tell us let's not be fools. Let's crank it. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right, let me plug some in. See, goddamn phone lines messing me up. Hold on one minute, people. Give me that. Let me end this motherfucker off right. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Alex. I don't know why that's like that. Hello. I I don't know why I'm messing up. I served the uh, CJ the traveling man. All right, you know what? I don't need to play that song, cause shit, hey, something ain't right. <laughs> We don't need to play that song, people. Something ain't right today. But uh, at the end of the day, man, go ahead and subscribe to all the channels, man. It's the, hey, this logic over tradition, this ace corner talk, this goddamn everybody, man. Keep it real. Keep it positive, And we out here, fam. Peace.